Hello, I'm Michael Perry, and today I get to be your bartender as we make the Mai Tai. Now, the Mai Tai was supposedly so famous that it depleted rum supplies worldwide in the 1940s and 50s. It has gone on to be the number one cocktail in Hawaii, full of rum and fruit juices, pineapple, pineapple wedges, uh, and is often served blended. It's been featured in Elvis Presley movies, Blue Hawaiian. It also was a favorite of apparently of Richard Nixon when he was in office. That is not the Mai Tai that we're gonna be making today. Rather, we're gonna be making the Mai Tai as it was originally invented in 1944 in Oakland by a man named Victor Bergeron, better known as Trader Vic. He invented the Mai Tai to showcase a 17-year-old aged rum, Ray and Nephew, which apparently the last bottle sold for around $50,000, so kind of the holy grail of rums. When he first made this, he presented it to some Tahitian friends of his who, who exclaimed, Mai Tai Roa A, which means out of this world the best. So the name stuck, we now know it as the Mai Tai. He used this as a way to promote the, the depth and complexity and the beautiful flavor of this robust aged rum, adding in a little bit of simple syrup, some orgiat, which is almond flavored syrup, and orange curacao, an orange flavored liqueur. Martin Kate, who owns San Francisco's Smuggler's Cove, recently wrote a book all about rum and includes uh, some details about how Trader Vic invented this drink or, or presented this drink. Uh, some do's and don'ts. First, it is shaken, not blended. Second, no dark float of rum on top, just straight. And probably the most important, no umbrellas. He was very specific about the lime and the mint garnish. So the tools that we are gonna need today are a double old fashioned glass, not a hurricane or a coconut, Measuring jiggers, a cocktail shaker, measuring spoon. I'm going to use the stirring spoon, but teaspoon measures, and I'll explain what the ratios are. Paring knife and a citrus press. Also, if you have access to crushed ice, crushed ice will make a wonderful difference to this cocktail. That's how it's originally made. If you don't have crushed ice, it's, it's not the end of the world. Um, regular cubed ice will work fine. So the first thing that we're going to do as we build the cocktail is we're going to get our lime juice. So we need three quarters of an ounce of lime. It's about a half of a lime. So we'll press that. Remember, fresh juice makes a world of difference. We want to save the spent lime because we're going to use that for the garnish. So we need three quarters of an ounce. Perfect. Then we need uh, two ounces of rum. Today we're gonna be using uh, Nicaraguan rum. This is uh, Diplomatico, their exclusive, Reserva Exclusiva. Beautiful aged rum, about 12 to 15 years of age on this. Amber, very complex, very rich. It's important to use uh, a really high quality rum because that's the flavors that are really going to be coming through in this drink. So two ounces of the rum. One, two. Then we need a uh, half an ounce of orange curacao. So that's uh, one tablespoon. Just one tablespoon. And then we need a quarter of an ounce of both the orgiat and the simple syrup. And the orgiat again is the almond syrup. So a quarter of an ounce is one and a half teaspoons. So I'm gonna measure that out here. Just one and a half teaspoons. And then we do the same with the simple syrup. One and a half teaspoons. Now for the shaking of this, it's different than what we've done in the past. 
Normally we would shake the drink with ice cubes and then strain the drink into our glass. Here we're gonna use crushed ice and some cubed ice and we're not gonna strain it. We're gonna dump the entire contents into the glass. So you wanna take the glass that you're gonna be serving the drink with and fill it up with crushed ice and add that right into your shaker. Also add a few cubes of regular ice. Then we'll go ahead and we'll chill down our glass. So ice and water, and we'll set that aside. Then with the cap on nice and tight, we're gonna shake this for 20 seconds or until it's too cold to handle. Perfect. And now, empty our glass. And again, not straining, we're putting the entire contents into the glass. Perfect. And then we're taking the spent lime peel that we used Cut a little wedge of that. Place that right on top, not down inside, but just on top. And then a little sprig of mint. Trader Vic wanted this to look like a little island with a palm tree. So here's your original Trader Vic's Mai Tai. Enjoy.